What's up, everybody? This is a Force of Nature Spiritual Awakening, and today we will be discussing Saturn and the karma people get when they fuck you over. So we will be covering the 7th, the 8th, and the ninth house. Now, everybody knows that karma is linked to Saturn. Saturn is linked to karma. Okay, but Saturn also will show you the karma that people will receive after they have done you wrong, done you dirty, um, mistreated you, and fucked you over. So we are going to start off with Saturn being in the seventh house and the natal birth chart. So even, even if you weren't someone's first love, you will feel like you were. Okay, so... <laughs> Okay, this is going to be a tricky one. Why? Because um, we know that when you even get older, okay, in relationships with people and things like that, this kind of placement is going to feel like you was somebody's first love and vice versa, okay? It could have that childlike energy, playful energy about the relationship, okay? So when your ex gets with someone else, their new partner will feel extremely insecure because of you, okay? They can feel jealous of you, intimidated by you, um, feel like um, they're lacking something that you can do, okay? Now, let's say this is a woman, okay? Maybe this woman knows how to cook very well and she keeps herself up very well, okay? Meaning you, right? Say you're the Saturn and seventh house woman, okay? Your partner's new person is going to be intimidated by you, or feel insecure about you in some kind of way, okay? So, their karma could develop into anxiety, social anxiety, PTSD, or insomnia, okay? So, the seventh house, being ruled by Venus and Libra, you were the perfect balance in people's lives. So, you was the perfect balance in an intimate relationship. You was the perfect um, balance, maybe even in a friendship, okay? This can also go for friendships as well. Let's say, for example, you have a friend and y'all was cool and all of that stuff like that. You're not friends no more. You got new friends that you chill with and kick it with. When you come around or if you're even around the area, okay, other friends can also feel intimidated, intimidated by you, jealous of you, envious of you, okay? So let's keep on going. So generally, okay, we're talking more about relationships, intimate ones though, but generally losing you is going to feel like a fucking curse, okay? So your exes can feel like you curse them. okay? Or feel like there's some kind of entity that is, taking over their world. This is something else. So the smallest unnecessary things could go wrong for your ex or your partner or your friends. Okay? That's what goes on and takes place. Saturn in the eighth house. So now the eighth house is about death, sex, rebirth, and sudden losses, including sudden deaths. So if they have a business running, okay? If they're running their own business and things of that nature, okay? And they have a fallen out with you. It's going to feel almost like um, things for them are going out of control, okay? They can feel like they are fragile. They can even get some kind of disease, okay? And I'm talking about STDs, herpes, chlamydia, um, maybe even HIV, AIDS, and things like this. Yep, this is what goes on and takes place for people doing you dirty if you have Saturn in the eighth house. So this is another placement where the karma can feel like a curse, okay? Um, their most unnecessary moments in their daily life could go wrong, okay? So people would have Saturn in the eighth house. After somebody has done you wrong, they can get involved with somebody else that does them dirty, does them wrong, uses and abuses them, gives them a STD, um, AIDS, herpes, chlamydia, gonorrhea, okay? Whatever the hell um, diseases that are out there, okay? This could be something that goes on and takes place with them, something that they might have to endure or encounter, okay? Now, 
we do know that if that does happen, right, that is definitely going to affect their daily life. Now, let's say that they did not catch a ad- disease from messing you over, okay? These people could feel like they are sick, okay? Um, these people can feel like they're going through a lot of transformation, a lot of changes, okay, a lot of soul searching, okay, finding out who they really are, okay? All of these things can happen to them, sudden losses, loss of money, loss of finances, which is money, okay, loss of property, um, loss of opportunities, okay? They could also run into people that don't give them great sex, okay? They, they ain't fucking them the way that you fucking them. Okay, excuse my language. I know I curse a lot sometimes, but it is what it is. Okay, so now Saturn in the ninth house. So possible accidents can happen, okay, to people that have done you wrong. So after doing you wrong, somebody could get hit by a car. Somebody could get hit by a bus. Um, somebody could have had a fight, a brawl, okay, could have been at a bar. Somebody bust them in the head with something. Okay, um, a lot of confusion could go on and take place. Please keep in mind that the ninth house is a spiritual, religious kind of house. It's about higher knowledge, higher education. We know this, right? Okay, so um, your partner can also possibly have gotten um, kidnapped, okay, while being alone, um, feeling like they are, hmm, how can I put this? Well, they can feel like they're alone, but they can also get kidnapped, okay? Now, is this going to be the case for everybody's partner or friendships? No. Okay, especially when it comes to the kidnap, okay, getting hit by a bus or a car. Okay, but accidents in general, okay, let's stick to the script. The script is accidents can go on to take place more often than not. Okay, so something can go wrong. All right, um, what else? Where are we at? Okay, feeling superior and like they don't need you after losing you is another thing can happen. Okay, so if it's not a full-blown accident, they can feel like they don't need you. Okay, they don't need you for anything. Okay, but then they could come to find out that they do need you more than they thought that they did. Okay, um, they could feel like they're messing their life up. Okay, um, because you are not present anymore. So they can feel like they don't need you. They don't want you. Um, they don't want you around. They don't need you around. And then come to find out that they did need you around. You was an asset. You was somebody. Okay? This is what could go on and take place. And this can go for intimate relationships as well as friendships. Okay? So, I'm going to leave this on this note for now. And in future videos to come, I will go more into depth into Saturn and the karma people get when they do you dirty, when they fuck you over, when they mistreat you, treat you poorly. And that's the 7th house, the 8th house, and the ninth house. So if anybody wants to get their chart analyzed, please hit me up. If anybody wants to donate to the channel, please feel free. My phone number is 516-738-6042. I do have the sale still going on. If you're an Aquarius, you're saving $100 off your reading. If you're a Leo, you're saving $50 off your reading. Everybody else is paying the regular price. Thank you to all the new subscribers. Thank you to all the old subscribers. I appreciate each and every one of you. Please be sure to share the videos so other people can um, see what's up and what's going on and they can get more hip to the shit. So this is a force of nature, spiritual awakening. Love is love. Peace and blessings to you all. And I will see you on the next one.